All right, look here. Look, guys, we need to have another discussion, okay? You can't lose weight by drinking the shakes, okay? What? This, I just heard this lady just say, well, you know, I really don't like exercising. You know, I don't like to get my hair all messed up. But they, I am going to get, I guess she was talking about some shake. I didn't see, you know, which one. But she was talking about she was going to get this shake at Walmart so she can lose weight. But but then she just said she's not going to exercise. Look, la ladies and gentlemen, I just got to say it. This is just nonsense. You know, over there, do you see that? You see the people laid out? They running those hills over there. Those guys are running the hills. And there's even one in the back who is kind of, you know, looks like he might be bigger than the other two. But you see, they, they're exercising. They're running the hills. I bet dude didn't say, you know what? I'm going to drink me a shake. I'm going to take a pill, and then it's just magically going to go away. It doesn't work like that. And I, I really need to tell you guys that as a former personal trainer, I mean, I work out myself several times a week. My body is not perfect because, you know, it's just not. But I, I stay physically fit, and I do well. There is there's the whole NTNs, pretzels, addiction thing. But, you know, I want you all out there to find me a 12-step program for that. See, I'm scratching. I'm thinking about it now. I'm scratching. But I'm, I'm working on that. See, and, and there we go. Right behind us. Right over there, there's a group of ladies who, who are running. You know, that's how you lose weight. That is how you lose weight. You, you, can't, you can't take a magic pill. You got to put down the Heralds, put down the Popeyes, all that McDonald's and all that mess, and eat right, get some fruits, get some vegetables up in you. You know, you, you got to exercise. You have to burn those calories because the way that you lose weight is a combination of diet and of exercise. And I'm just saying this because I want you all to really think about this and really know that it does take a combination of the two. You've got to eat right and you have got to exercise. You know, it's, it's, I mean, the two of them just absolutely have to happen. And it's because it's a matter of burning the calories, which is what happens when you work out, when you run, whether you bike, uh, whether you row, power walk, exercise, you know, Zumba, aerobics class. That's how you burn the fat. You got to burn the fat off. And then, of course, at the same time, you have to do strength training. That means you have to lift your weights and get your muscles conditioned. You have to make them stronger. And when you lift those weights, that helps to burn the fat when you're not actually working out. And when you eat better, not only do you give your body the vitamins and the minerals and the nutrients that it needs to just function properly on a day-to-day basis right but you also give your body fewer fat calories that means that it doesn't have to burn off as much fat in order for for it to get you healthy into the place physically where you want to be so again i am dispelling and i am debunking the nonsense that you can take a some magic water pill or just drink a shake and replace a meal once or twice a day to lose weight. I mean, it's okay to drink a shake once a day, maybe if you just, you know, uh, want to not eat a whole meal. But make sure that that shake has all of the, the nutrients that you need. Make sure it has the vitamins and the minerals that you need. But you, you can't eat the same old unhealthy foods and not exercise and think that you're going to achieve that goal. You can't even eat all the same stuff and then exercise and think that that's going to work. It's lopsided because what's going to happen is, yeah, you're exercising. And so it may control a little bit of it, but you're not going to get better. You just may plateau. You may stay at the same place. So... You know, you, you, you're exercising, you're going to aerobics class, you're, you're running, 
you're jogging, you're doing whatever your cardio is to kind of burn off the fat, but so so your fat is is down here, right? But you're eating the same stuff. You're eating the sweets and the sugar and all the the extra um the simple carbs, the bad stuff, and so your fat calories are going up here. So they're not meeting in the middle where there's an equilibrium is lopsided and that way you're never going to achieve your goals so people beloved listen to me when i tell you i am a formally certified sports nutritionist a um i was a personal trainer i know what i'm talking about you must do both if you need help go and seek out a trainer Go seek out a nutritionist if you need, um, you know, kind of some advice on how you can put together meals properly so that they're well balanced. And also a personal trainer is good for just figuring out which exercises, which exercise regimen would be good for you personally to achieve whatever your specific goals may happen to be for, um, you know, getting your body in the shape and in the condition that you want it to be in. And no, this is not some kind of a, a commercial for personal training or anything. This is just my letting you know not to believe the hype. Don't believe it. You must diet. I'm sorry, I don't even use the word diet. You must have the correct diet. And you must exercise in order to lose weight and get your body where it is that you want it to be. Okay? So I hope this helps you guys. Go to the gym, go to the produce section in your grocery store, and hook that up. See you later, guys. Gotta run. Gotta run these heels. Woo!